Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, Tektar20 here. Um, wanted to do a video. Uh, I'm not showing no cards today. Uh, got a couple things coming in, but um, actually, we just wanted to kind of just go off the top and say some things. Um, I know I haven't done a video like this ever, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I was checking out some of the uh, video responses for. Uh, uh, AR Falc 77's seven uh, five questions. So I want to hit that up, and then I kind of wanted to give my two cents about uh, about the Lions, man. I'm kind of I don't know. I'm kind of I'm I'm disappointed yet hopeful as always because that's my team. Um, but there's you know there's a couple things going on there. Um, but let me get into these questions real quick. Uh, you know I. I thinking about what my answers might could be so I'm just gonna roll with whatever comes out um, question number one uh, lunch or dinner with someone who's passed away or you know been an influential in not influential but I guess someone who's passed away <laughs> yeah that's the that's basically the question I summed them all up um, I would have to I have to go out there and kind of go biblical. Um, I'd be interested in in really sitting down with Paul, man. The Apostle Paul, uh, to me, would be someone I'd like to understand a little better. There's a lot of stuff, you know, written in the Bible about him. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of questions. You know, I get into kind of you know what he meant by him being the chief center, chief of sinners, and you know, just see what it really took for him to to walk that life that you know that, that Christ kind of exemplified, and um, you know, in his his writings and his teachings and stuff like that, and to to know so much yet to feel like you haven't attained to you know but to have you know run the race and you know fought the good fight I think that would be be something to really get to know and to really you know want to know is for is for my life and uh, you know to be some knowledge I could pass on to other people um, Lunch and dinner with somebody alive. Um, to me, this is a no-brainer. I've never met Barry Sanders. I mean, I've seen him play, which was awesome. Um, but to me, to sit down with him, to have like a, a dinner with him, would be really cool. I think the man is, you know, super awesome. Still, even, you know, outside of football, very humble dude. I, you know, I like to believe that, you know, I, I'm humble <laughs> most times I mean people ask things that you know you would normally gloat or bloat about I mean I, you know I try to just play it out I don't know if it's a strength or a weakness or whatever but you know I love the, the guy's humility um, I love you know the way he played the game you know I I still like to know what really led him to quit I mean I, I've seen the interviews and stuff like that and you know, just the desire for him to come back one more year just wasn't there for him. So, but I just think it would be an awesome experience. You know, to get my picture with him, or you know, to to just to to have that. Like, you know, I ate dinner with Barry Sanders, or I ate a meal with him, or something like that. You know, I, I think he was a real positive role model for for you know players at the time, and even players still. You know, everybody's trying to be him. It's, it's on the field, you know, with the this, you know, abilities and skills and stuff like that. So I think that would be really awesome. Um, number three is a YouTuber who's who's left YouTube. Uh, man, I haven't been here long enough uh, to really know anybody that has gone and, and moved on and left and not have come back yet. Um, you know, I don't even know who a couple of these other guys were that most majority of people are, are talking about so unfortunately you know that that's a blank for me um, who was my biggest influence growing up uh, it's kinda hard to say 
I mean, you know, I see my mom and my dad. They were, you know, they've been separated since I was like four. So, you know, seeing them take care of what they've had to take care of, I think, has influenced me. Um, I've learned a lot from their relationship to apply to my life today uh, with my marriage and my wife and, you know, just wanting to make sure that our marriage lasts and is a long one. I mean, I look at her parents, my, my mom's parents and my dad's parents, they both split up and, you know, I don't know how far back the, you know, the, the, the trail goes. I mean, and my wife's mother and father, they split and, but, um, her mom's parents have always been together. You know, I here it was a rocky road here and there, but you know, I, I'd like to set the example for my my sons to uh, to know what a marriage is. I mean, you know, I kind of construed idea from seeing my mom and dad not be together, but then to see, you know, what husband and wife really mean and stuff like that. I think that, you know, they influenced me to want to do better, to to want to choose better, not just to marry somebody that I thought I loved, but to marry someone that, you know, I know that I love, that I know that I can spend the rest of my life with, that um, that means the world to me, you know, that that's the mother of my children. Um, you know, I didn't have any kids outside of my, my, my wife and my marriage. So, you know, and I, I dated some girls that had kids and, you know, it was strange for me because, you know, even though it's, there's nothing wrong and I, you know, I give mad, mad credit to dudes that can, that can, you know, go with a girl that has kids, but it was real difficult for me. You know, I always felt like there was just one more person I had to worry about not the not the not the girl and not the kid but you know the dude because you know when does he come back you know when when he, if he comes back what's the problem or you know what what it's always a tie you know but for you know for what it is now these are my kids this is my wife you know we're we're good so you know that that is really important to me and then um who inspires me now uh my wife, man, my wife, my kids, um, my wife is, is really inspirational to me. You know, she, she lifts me up when I'm down, man. She encourages me. Um, you know, she also points out the things that, that I need to be pointed out to sometimes because, you know, you can kind of put the blinders on in life and kind of go about your way and think nothing's wrong. Um, but yet, you know, we, we have a good relationship like that where we can talk and communicate and uh, really, you know, share our ideas with one another, our feelings, um, you know, the, the, our wants and needs, man. It's, you know, it, it's been, it's been outstanding. And, uh, and then I look at my kids and, you know, they inspire me all the time, man. They're, they're rambunctious. <laughs> They're uh, they're super smart, man. They, you know, they they they're just enjoying life, and it's really a blessing to uh, to be a father, and you know, to be a husband and stuff like that. So, those are my answers, and that's a little bit more about me. Um, you can probably see why I get emotional too with just receiving gifts. <laughs> Thanks, Steve, for uh, setting me up a couple times. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, hopefully everybody's doing good, man. Uh, also mentioned I want to get into the lines a little bit. Man, I, I've I've been on the bandwagon. You know, I was drinking the Kool Aid that we were gonna come off that playoff uh, season last last year and and go back and you know tackle the top of the, the division and be all that we could be but um man it's been pretty pretty down it's been uh, it's been a real rocky road extreme like roller coaster you know I, i'm getting excited these past three games <clears throat> we've been 
you know, at the mountaintop and we like took that last step and fell off the cliff every time, dude. It's been it's been ridiculous. And then uh, you know, when Titus Young blows up like dude, get real, man. I mean I I've I've gone crazy a little bit, but you know, getting his cards and collecting the stuff, and now he may not even be on the team next year. You know, the guy's on IR now for undisclosed reasonings, uh, probably because he's a mental case. You know, who knows? Um, and then Ryan Broyles goes and had some ACL tear on his other knee that he didn't hurt in college. So, I mean, I still have my hope. Um, you know that we win a couple more games this season. You know I, I love to see them play. You know they frustrate the, the hell out of me because I just don't understand how they could play lights out for like three quarters and then the fourth quarter they they play the soft zone or you know they have no real bump and run coverage guys. You know Chris Houston is good. I know a couple of the guys. They have good plays at times in the secondary, but I mean our linebackers don't don't pass protection. You know, they they're not out there covering tight ends and stuff like that. They'll tackle, but uh, I mean DeAndre Levy got got beat in the corner on Kobe Fleener pass, and <coughs> Tullick just he's not a He's not a pass coverage linebacker, man. It's crazy. Um, but I'm rooting for Calvin Johnson to, to beat uh, that Jerry Rice record from 1995. I think he can do it. I think that uh, Stafford can get him the ball. And, you know, I'm looking at the, the Madden curse. And, it, you know, I, I think, I really think, like, Megatron defeated it. Like, you know, he passed it on, but he like spread it out to the team <laughs> and I was reading some funny stats and you know you may not think of nothing like this but they were saying that um, Titus Young's overall stats for the team he had 81 receptions for like 900 and some odd yards and so many TDs but but hey Megatron 81 Titus Young had 81 catches and now he's like on IR mysteriously and he may be off the team because he's a psycho so that's kind of funny um, but you know I'm, I'm not gonna get rid of my collection I'm gonna hold on to the stuff I mean he's he's still a pretty decent receiver my Ryan Broyles thing I'm, I'm gonna hold on to that and, you know I'll still be trading y'all for for cards and and looking for you know my, my line stuff but, but yeah it's, a, it's it's been a pretty disappointing season man we still have a couple more games uh, we got Green Bay Arizona Atlanta, I'm looking forward to that game. Maybe, you know, maybe we can pull off a win, but we're going to be in Atlanta. So that's kind of like one of those things. But you never know, man. Any, any given Sunday, anybody can pull a win. Uh, but, you know, maybe maybe this year we'll, we'll draft some decent uh, defensive uh, secondary guys. Um, we'll get some, some of our injuries back from the secondary um, Dwight Bentley he looked pretty good John Tay Green's okay um, you know we had one more guy Greenwood and uh, you know maybe he'll he'll come back if not man I know, I know there's a couple guys out there I really wish we didn't sleep on uh, Janorius Jenkins man that guy's just balling and uh, you know he had he's got some baby mama drama and 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 you know a few other things but but man you know when he gets on that field he's all ball all serious man it's been it's been pretty good for the the Rams there um, other than that man I'm rolling into 14 minutes of, of just me jabbing the jaw so I'm gonna get up out of here uh, I got a early morning tomorrow and I've been been working during the day like 30 hours a week and then going to my my afternoon thing, 40 hours a week. So that's why y'all haven't been seeing me too much. I know I got a couple PMs about a couple trades, and I haven't done any for sale or you know for trade for sale videos uh, in a, about a month or so. 
I've just been swamped and tired. Uh, it's been super busy every you know every waking minute that that I'm not working. I'm trying to spend time with my family and my you know, and then I get little blocks of time to come on here and, and do some uh, some mail videos and kind of just share with y'all that stuff. Um, and it's you know it's still been a nice outlet for me to get out here and, and uh, just see what y'all are doing and and be part of the community man it's been pretty awesome so y'all uh, take it easy have a good uh, night and peace